Howdy campers, welcome to your 11th MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I want to take a look at the object ID property. Okay, so in the last tutorial we found a user in the database with the name of Mario by using find1. So it went to the database, it looked at the properties right here of each record and any that it found with the name of Mario it will return that first one it finds. Okay, now what if we have say 10 different records in the database and they all have a name of Mario or say five of them have a name of Mario. How do we know which one it's going to return to us? What if we want to find a very specific record? Well instead of finding by name we could find by object ID which is this thing right here. You see this long string of characters? This is the ID. So each record in the database which you save to it has a different object ID. So because it's so unique, we can use the ID to find a very specific record, which is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So back in our finding test.js file, I'm going to create another test. And this is going to go out and it's going to find a record by ID. I'm just going to pop my semicolon on there. I'm going to copy this thing right here, this it block. I'm going to create a new it block because these, remember, are individual tests within the describe block right here. Okay, so we're still finding records, we're just finding it in a different way. We're just finding it in a different way. So let's say finds one record by ID from the database. So this right here, MarioCar.find1, it's all going to be very similar, but instead of finding by name, what we're going to do is search by ID. So let's delete that thing right here. And if we go to this Robo Mongo, we can see that the property is underscore ID. So what we can say is we want to find it by underscore ID, right? Now, how do we know what ID it's going to be? Well, when we create a new record, Mongoose gives it a unique ID. Okay, it does that for us. So at the moment we create this instance of the object right here, this car, it now has a property of underscore ID, even though we don't specify it here, it's not in our schema, Mongoose automatically gives it that property. So we can say we want to search the database for the record with the ID which Mongoose, uh, which Mongoose gives it right here. Okay, so let's come down here and we'll say we want it to be my car dot underscore ID, right? Now, is this going to work? It's trying to find the ID of my car. Now, my car is not defined here. It's defined here. Now, because it's defined within this before each, we don't have access to it outside of the before each. So how is this going to work? What we need to do is just above the before each, we need to declare that variable first of all. So I'll say var car. Okay. And that's all I need to do. Then I can delete this right here. And this now is going to update this variable. So we have access to this variable here now within this it block. And it's not my car, it's just car. All right. So we're now saying we want to find one record with the ID of the car underscore ID. So then we fire this function with the result, hopefully the correct record that it's found. Then we want to assert something. We want to assert that the ID we found is equal to that ID, do we not? So we'll say result dot underscore ID is triple equal to car dot underscore ID. Makes sense, right? So the result that's returned to us, we want to make sure that it is in fact the ID of this thing right here, which we're searching for. So we're asserting that. So let's see if this works. So I'm going to save it now. And we're going to run this right here, npm run test. And check this out, we've got errors. What the hell is going on there? So if we go up, we can see that saving a record, that passes absolutely fine. Uh, finding one record from the database, which is this thing right here. Finding one record from the database, that is fine. Finds one record by ID from the database. This is failing. So why is it failing? Well. It's failing because this assert thing right here is failing. And the reason is these things right here, these IDs, these are not actually strings. 
These are objects. If we take a look at RoboMongo, we can see that right here, the ID field is this string right here, surrounded by this object, okay? It's like a wrapper around this ID. So what we're doing here is we're comparing two objects, this local object and this object that's come from MongoDB. And they're not technically the same thing. And because they're not technically the same thing, this thing right here is failing, okay? So how do we get around it? Well, if we want to compare the actual strings, the actual ID, which is this string right here, they should be the same. So what we can do is just call toString on each of these things right here. And then these should be the same. So this should pass this time. So if we open this back up, say npm run test. Awesome, now we're passing all three tests, cool. So just to reiterate, when we're actually finding a character, we don't have to put to string, okay? Mongoose is clever enough to understand that we want to find a record with the same ID. So we don't need to do the whole to string thing there. But when we're using a cert right here, when we're asserting that the result that's come back to us is actually the correct one, we need to call to string on the ID to get the actual string of that object ID within the object itself. Hope that makes sense. Okay then, so that's how we find a record by object ID. In the next tutorial, we're gonna take a look at deleting records from the database. I'll see you then.